YouTube. I'm Matt. I'm a full-time wannabe. Uh, basically, my channel is about me uh, going from the house into my custom cargo camper I built and hitting the road. Uh, today, I thought I'd do uh, a little update walkthrough of the camper. Um, got it all decked out. This is how I'm going to be rolling with it. Grant, some of the stuff I got to take down <laughs> when I travel, but it's very minimal, believe it or not. Uh, everything on the wall, I like my decorations, you know, so I got pretty decorated up, but most of it can stay right where it's at. Only a few things actually have to come down, and it just goes right into a tote, takes five minutes, and I can uh, load it up, and when I get to where I'm going, I can decorate all over again, and five minutes. Uh, so that's no big deal. Um, I... Uh, heads up, up up front, I like my decorations. I like uh, uh, everything that I have in here is stuff I've collected uh, in my travels. And um, not, not, none of it's worth a whole lot of money, you know. Uh, all my big money items I bought, I wouldn't leave out here. But anything that I have out here, I, I couldn't care if it was, if my trail was broken into. I mean, I would care, you know, I mean, I'd be pretty disheveled, you know, I'd be pretty upset, but, I mean, it's not nothing that, you know, that's that materialistic, but it's cool, you know, it's all stuff in my little theme of my trailer, you know, I, I like to travel and go places and explore, and, and I like to get souvenirs of, you know, where I'm at, so, so let's do, uh, we're already in the trailer, uh, it's a 6x12 cargo trailer, single axle. Um, I had to keep keep it pretty light. Um, so that's why it's not really built up. You know, I've seen a lot of people the way they build up the cargo trailers and um, not a whole lot of room for anything. And I needed to have a kitchen, a bed, but most important, I needed my work table. Uh, I own Extreme Auto Graphics. I sell out through eBay. It's, it's, my business is strictly online. I, I ship all over the world. And uh, and that's how I'm going to make my money when I travel. You know, As long as I have internet and a post office nearby, I'm making money. So, uh, my work table was key. Because i got to have a place to make my graphics still. So, you know, let's uh, check it out. I'm gonna just I'm gonna do a little better one this time than I did on the last one. And this one's more updated. So this is the kitchen. Uh, it has everything. Uh, it's got running water with a sink. It's got a nice three burner propane stove. And my favorite is the winter fridge. That was one of my, uh, I had four big ticket items, and the fridge was one of them. This was uh, just under a thousand bucks. It's a winter fridge. It's a fridge and freezer. Uh, it's not on, but it's, it's nice and big and deep. Nice and big and deep. There's my little uh, ice trek. That way you never run out of ice. Uh, get those little plastic ice cubes from uh, the dollar store get a bunch of them and uh, throw them into a Ziploc bag and you can uh, lay them on top of anything and they don't melt like regular ice they stay cold way longer <clears throat> um, this is uh, just cheap uh, plastic drawers everybody knows what they are um, but they're awesome and it's a nice and thin so it's just you know get the silverware stuff in there this is kind of like my utility drawer just a bunch of just quick things to grab Plenty of stuff, you know, my paper bags for my garbage can and, you know, Ziplocs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Tupperware. And then down here, just kind of the same thing. Just a little extra stuff. Stuff goes everywhere. Pretty simple. Uh, under here, where I got my propane. That's for the stove. And, uh, I put shelves up, but it's just for decorations. Um, that's actually a Husky tool magnet, but man, that's perfect. <laughs> that's what I used it for. And then I found this one little hanging strip. 
the little hooks. This, this was like the smallest potholder I could find. And I searched forever just to find this one, and it's, and it's just perfect. Um, I had to cut uh, a piece of wood. I just painted it black because uh, originally I just had the hanger. And, and when I would move the trailer around drive, these would kind of slide back and forth on the wall and leave these black marks all on the wall. So <laughs> I didn't want to have to paint it every time I took the trailer around the corner. So I just I just screwed that board up there, painted it black, and it uh, looks good. You know, I'm happy with it. Uh, this is my the only shelves I have. Just a simple three shelves, and they're they're nice and deep. I can put, I believe it or not, I can get. A lot on there for sure and I put this was something that I added with these stays because even though I have a lip on this even though there's a lip uh, things seem to jump out so I just had some extra trim pieces it's kind of flexible and you know I mean you don't want to you know I mean it's not the strongest thing I mean I could pop right through it easily but that's not what it's for it's just to keep stuff in there so it won't break and if it does, I mean, that's 93 cents. I'll just put another one, paint it gray, and tack it right to it. A uh, little stuff for, you know, coffee and uh, my sugar. That's about it. That's about the most important thing I need. Most of the time, I would do paper plates and stuff. So the sink, I don't have to really worry about. Um, you know, you got to have a little rag holder and a, and a little broom set up for cleaning little paper towel holder there's all kind of cool stuff you can buy you know online and you know to spruce up your stuff um, that's just a step in case you can't make the, the step up uh, but this is my water system uh, it runs off a sure flow pump uh, one is the supply one five gallon buckets of supply one is the uh, uh, the gray water um, which I can just dump anywhere because it's not poo water it's just Water that I use for cooking with, or you know, whatever, maybe you know, cleaning some dishes, but that's not going to hurt anything. And really, I'll be doing paper plates, so you know, I'll clean my pot or the pan. That's about it. It's going to be falling down there. And uh, I put this little uh, uh, flex piece in there because it makes it, you see, a little flex piece, uh, but it makes it easier to just to, I can pull the whole thing out because it, it'll flex. It's just much easier to get this in and out so that's that pretty simple okay I'm gonna spin around from the kitchen as you can see most of it's just materialistic shit you know stuff that I just like I took pictures that I had taken over the years and uh, you know trips I've done and then I just had them put on canvas kind of cool so I like taxidermy stuff so that's a bunch of bugs who doesn't love bugs and raccoons and puffer fish just stuff you know I'm from Florida that's where uh, the squirrel and the alligator and the piranha came from that's all Florida stuff I brought from Florida um, I'm in Texas now um, but a lot of the decorations believe it or not is you know something really really bad happened and I need to uh, you know set some traps <laughs> or do some yo-yo uh, fishing heck yeah I'm ready to go little spear hey there's a pig spear there I think it'll kill anything not that I hunt you know but if need be and I need to hunt all of a sudden because the end of the world I'm ready to go and I got a dozen I just hung uh, one of each but I got a dozen of each uh, in a Tupperware, in a Tupperware, <laughs> in a tote. Um, little shelf there. I love those little things. I've got so many of those all over the trailer. Um, I got another one of those little plastic things. That's what's so great. It, you know, it didn't cost a lot of money to to decorate it up and make store, you know, room for storage. But this is more for my office. Uh, I do auto graphics. And I just wanted some drawers for the, uh, you know, for my little office area. Um, I got a little foldable stool, but I don't ever need to fold it. It just slides right in, right out of the way if I want it out of the way. Um, I, I I built a work table on the back, and uh, that's why I'm going to make my graphics. And I recessed underneath 
Um, so that way I can put my rolls of vinyl there. So when I travel, I have to move the vinyl to the front of the trailer uh, that, to offset the weight of the garage, because the garage is actually built under the table, my whole garage area. And that's where all my electrical, my batteries, so that's a lot of weight on the back. So um, I put my rolls of vinyl all into the front when I travel. I just uh, throw them in boxes and just stack them right there. And that, they're, they're 150 feet, 50 yard by two feet wide rolls of vinyl. So they, they're pretty heavy. <laughs> and um, and then I have a tote right here on, on, that I put on the side from where I take. The only thing I gotta take down when I move is just that. Just that little bit right there, that little decoration right there. Everything else goes, you know, like that'll go into the sink. That can stay right where it's at. All that stuff can stay right where it's at. Doesn't go anywhere. Um, this is where the TV goes. Uh, it's a swivel mount. Um, not that I'll ever need to swivel it, but for $19, that was an awesome uh, uh, and cheap way to put it on the wall. And who knows? You know, maybe I will swivel it out. You never know. And um, uh, I got all my survival books down there and bushcraft books. All kind of the cool, cool books to read. And then, of course, stuff that I just picked up along, you know, throughout the travels. Um, you know, Megalodon teeth from Florida and uh, Indian spear stuff. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, there's little glares everywhere. The spearheads and uh, you know arrowheads and fossils, uh, dinosaur poop. That's what that is. That's like 65 million year old dinosaur poop. That's old Chinese uh, hand cannon. Kind of cool. But all this stuff is is nothing. I mean, it doesn't cost anything, really. I mean, so I don't mind just having it. It's just stuff I've picked up along the way. It's kind of cool throughout the years. Um, and it's, like I said, it's not any of the expensive stuff. I mean, a bone, I mean, you can find that anywhere. But uh, I just like to be surrounded in it. There's my little pile of bones. <laughs> yep. I got my little decorations and stuff everywhere. But it's pretty simple. And I've got this little drawers here right there for socks and underwear and, uh, you know, like those basketball shorts and those silky t-shirts. They roll up real small, real tight, so I can pack a bunch into these things. And uh, and what I do is, uh, underneath the bed, that's what this is. This is a click clack couch, and um, the sides, the sides fold down, and then that all folds down, and it's a uh, it's a full size bed, not a queen, it's full size, but it's just me. So that's way more than enough room for me to sleep on. I'll be just fine. And I do have a fantastic fan. Uh, it works awesome. I uh, love it. I don't know what I'd do without it, to be honest with you. Um, but, yeah, that's the inside. Pretty pretty simple. You know, it's got a nice, easy kitchen. Plenty of room to work on, you know, cook on. I got plenty of food storage in there, and I can put more down there. But really, I got totes that slide all under. Um, I got two big, flat totes. That whole clothes that you know I plan on using during like a two-week period. Uh, the rest of the clothes will go in my truck. And then this whole side, I got four small totes that hold all the different types of dry goods. So it all goes under there. Um, but yeah, that's it. Plenty of room. You'll be able to see it from the back. It does have a, a screen, and this isn't the magic screen you get at Walmart. This one I got off of eBay, and this one's actually made a lot better. Um, the magnets are actually sewn into it. And uh, believe it or not, this company uh, will, because they make them, they take a little while to ship them out. Uh, usually you have to wait a week, week and a half before they send them out to you. But they come fast. Once they ship it, it's like there in three days. Um, but they make them after you order. So when I found that out, I'm like, well, hey, I have a cargo trailer, so I kind of need it a little smaller. And But I still want it split down the middle. And no problem. And I don't think I paid more than $45 for it, custom made. Um, got an out, outdoor bottle opener, of course, gotta have that. 
Everybody thinks I like African stuff for some reason, so it, I got a, I get a lot of African gifts. So they're all on, on hanging on the door. But I was I've never been into you know that kind of stuff. I mean, I like the designs and stuff. Yeah, that's the inside bottle opener. You guess that's super important. <laughs> you gotta have a beer opener because that would be devastating if you can't open up a beer. Um, I put a RV latch on there with a lock, and then I have you know I kept the regular lock on there too, so I can really lock that door up, you know. But when I'm in it, I just leave this open. I just shut that down, lock it on, and then I can lock myself in and out from there. Uh, no windows. I have no windows. Um, that's kind of like my next project. Because really, I want a window right there on the door. So that would get some cross ventilation. Um, on a, uh, I have a WeBoost system. It's about their best one they had. And I ran the wiring up the side and then I hook it to a painter's pole that I, uh, I put ladder racks on the roof and I hook it to a painter's pole and believe it or not the bottom of that painter's pole will go because you can see it's slacked but I can get the bottom of the painter's pole all the way up to about here and then that it's a 12 foot pole so that'll go pretty darn high you know and that'll help with this with the signal um, I've got 300 watts uh, energy on the roof. Uh, so far, that's all I've ever needed. Uh, I'm not running my business out of it. And even if I was running my business out of it, I don't think that would matter. Um, I mean, it is what it is. That's the, that's the charge controller. Um, I got barn doors uh, because I want to be able to back up into tight places and uh, still be able to open my door because you know that's my garage that's my power uh, I got backup stuff back here um, I've got eight six volt golf cart batteries um, I had to go cheap yep but they're flawless and I've never gone below 80% with them and using only the uh, 300 watts um, and I have two more right here. I have two more 100 watt panels right here uh, with extension cables that I, so I could put them off to the side. You know, if I wanted to, I just run the cable off that last one uh, off to the side right here and I could, you know, place them anywhere on the side. And then I literally got <laughs> 300 more watts because I, I thought I was going to need 800 watts, you know, to keep everything going. So I might have overbought. <laughs> Actually, I did overbuy. I overbought, I overbought by those 300 watts. Uh, I definitely want to have five. Five, would, five will be perfect. Um, by 9 o'clock in the morning, I mean, it's, it's, it's just after 10, 11 o'clock right now. But I'm at 100%. And then, I mean, I had the, the fan going. I had the fridge going last night. I had that little fan up there going. I, I was trying to charge stuff. Uh, just kind of like playing like, like I was in here last night. You know all night um, I didn't really keep lights on because I got um, little chargeable lights that I can use you know for an hour here an hour there and I got puck lights I put in that was one of my latest projects was I put three puck lights over the uh, over the kitchen man those things are bright they light up that whole kitchen but man they use you know, I thought those LEDs I was supposed to use much power but man they they're, they're, they're powerful they they take some power to run them and they're LEDs 12 doesn't make sense but if I leave them on too long, uh, my power will drop 10% like in, a, in an hour or two. Well, yeah, probably about two hours. Um, I run a, a bucket toilet. I know everybody's gonna wonder how I poo. Uh, I run a bucket toilet. And that's, the, that's the bucket I use. These two go together. And then I have a bucket shower system and it has the, an entire shower in it. Um, let me see here. Hold on one second. I've done videos on all this stuff. You know, it's, it's got a uh, battery powered, it's pressured, pressurized water. And uh, this thing gets hot. And it's USB chargeable, as you can see. And uh, this thing's awesome. I love this thing. And I got the, the better bucket lid and the heavier, duty bucket. 
So that way you're not splashing water around, you know, in case you're filling it up down by the creek. You don't lose half your water. You just throw the lid on there and you can truck up the side of any hill with that and keep all your water. So that's pretty cool. And then on those cold days, uh, I got this. Those real cold days, you know, when, you, when, the, when the bucket just ain't going to heat up. Uh, but this is just a... Uh, uh, it's propane powered, although it does use 2D batteries, or C batteries, I think those are C's, no, those are D's. Um, I've never used it, uh, it's brand new, uh, this is one of my newest projects, uh, but there's nothing to it. Um, you, you have, uh, you got water going out, you got the water coming in, and you got propane coming in. That's it, throw some batteries in there, kick that sucker on, keep it on minimum, because from what I've seen on all the reviews, you put it up to max, you're making coffee. And uh, but I'm just gonna put this out here. It's got this vent. See, it's got this vent. So that means it gets pretty hot and needs to blow that air away. So I was thinking of mounting it under my sink and and using it for the for hot water for the sink, and then uh, and run a line like say through the wall or through the floor, and uh, and then that way I could connect it to this and hang it on the door. But yeah, no. That's not going to happen. That thing gets hot, and I don't want to catch a fire back there. So I'm going to end up having to hang it on the back of one of these doors here. Um, let's see. Let get my toilet out of there. And get a better view of what you got here. Um, that's the WeBoost Drive uh, 4GX. That was like 560 bucks. One of the best ones they got. Uh, both the 65 and the 75 or 72 whatever that is uh, it's all the same unit it's just the uh, antenna they give you is just a little bit more but you pay a lot more for the better antenna um, uh, for some odd reason though the one that they sent me is the 75 one or the 72 ohm uh, antenna and and then and, the, and of course it's the same unit so this thing is awesome that's internet anywhere um, I have, I do have shore power. I can see it under here. Yeah, it's over there. Um, I put it under there to kind of be incognito. I don't want anybody to know that anything really powered in here, like, you know, like I need shore power for. You know what I mean? I don't want them to really think that. Grant, the solar panels on the roof, you know, as far as anyone knows, I'm a dog cleaner or something. I just need to light the lights up, you know? So. But anyways, uh, that runs up under there, and I can run shore power, and I can run this, uh, this is a 12 volt, 55 amp, three stage charger. So I'll just plug the charger into one of those, and then I'll take one of the, uh, um, from the Synwave, and I'll plug it in, whichever one I need to use. Um, but for the most part, it'd be the refrigerator one will stay plugged in at all times, obviously. But that's a 1500 watt, I guess it's like a 1000 watt, 1200 watt continuous, plenty. I mean, I don't have a microwave or a toaster. I don't have any of that kind of stuff, so I don't really need it. Um, I got a little 12 volt fuse box. Uh, that's a, a kick down. I was, I was originally gonna do a 24 volt, and then I was gonna kick everything down to 12 with it, and then, um, which I probably should have done in the hindsight. Should have went with 24 volt, would have been better, but you know, this is working just fine at 12 volt, and um, and when one of these things breaks, specifically that, which I doubt that'll ever break, but that will, uh, then I'll I'll get I'll switch it to 24 volt. Um, so I, I carry you know little survival survival stuff in the back, little little, little hatchet, you know, little mini axe, you know. For, I do a lot. Of, I like to go camping and hiking. Um, in case you need to clear some stuff up, uh, those, that's all my shore power stuff. Um, I think that's like 25 feet or 50 feet of cable, and then I got the, both dog bones, the 50 amp and the 30 amp, and then and then a regular, you know, in case I, I, you know I plug into someone's house. But really, I mean, I just run off the solar. I never run out of anything. So that's it. Everything up there, that's, that's just all like backup tents in my shower tent. That's up here. I got uh, an 18, this is an 18 foot TP. thing's huge. Um, you know, if, if, I, if I'm in a real bugsy area, then I'll just pop this out, you know, in case I want to hang out outside. You know, it's nice and cool out, and, but really a lot of bugs. This has windows and big screen doors on both sides. 
pretty nice big giant TP I got a four-man tent um, and then I have the uh, um, a shower tent in there and then I have well, this one's the bivy tent this is my little one-man tent when I go uh, canoeing and hiking I'll take this one uh, this is the bigger one in case there's more than one person going you know we're taking the canoe um, Yes, yeah, so the canoe is kind of hidden back here. And that's extra water jug right there. And this is, <laughs> I got to change my generator because this thing is so big and so loud. Um, yeah, no one is going to let me get anywhere near their campsite with that. So, hence, more power. That's my security. I just use a, uh, found a boot, man, on Amazon for like 40 bucks. <laughs> that's way better than those that little those little hooks. I and mean, that's the stupidest thing I ever saw. I mean, all you gotta do is just change the tire, <laughs> and off comes the hook. At least this thing covers. You know, if you can't get a wrench in there, you know, it covers it up. And I kind of just have it half ass right now. So, so <laughs> if they were able to get a wrench in it, you know, it's, it's, it only works if you use it correctly. Um, I just have just regular stuff. You know, just that's the lock with a little ball lock on it I mean if people want to take it they're gonna take it you know it is what it is but I think that's my best thing you ain't gonna take it with that on there and I was thinking about getting another one because they were so cheap put one on both sides so oh and how do I pull it that's how I pull it I had a GMC Sonoma a V6 4.3 liter uh, 4x4 four four with, with the full tow package. It, it was supposed to be able to pull 5,000 pounds like nothing. And uh, that was a lie. Home empty. God forbid, then I built it and I tried to take it around the neighborhood. <laughs> I could get to 35, 40 if I punched it. But that was it. I tried to get on the highway. I just took the on-ramp on, stayed in, the, in that same lane and took the off-ramp off. <laughs> Good. I couldn't get it up to 55. Couldn't even get it to 50. Man, it punched. It just would, didn't have no ass behind it. So I sold that truck, and believe it or not, I was able to buy this one for the same amount of money. Don't ask me how. Um, but this one's a 5.4 liter big truck. I just put a new fuel uh, fuel pump in it, a new fuel relay. And on this truck, the fuel relay, you can't just remove. you got to replace the entire fuse box unless you know how to solder on schematics and test all the other stuff around it because it flashes burns that relay out and I don't know if it burned out the other stuff and I didn't want to test resistors and capacitors and the whole row of whatever else was soldered in there so I had to replace the whole fuse box but now it's all looking good and running good the tires are all good I'm ready to jam I'm ready to hit the road so that's, that was my, uh, that's my updated, uh, trailer tour. Still no windows. Might drill a hole right in the floor and just keep it. Put like a door handle, not, you know, like a cabinet handle. So you grab so I can pull it out. Uh, bug screen underneath it. Like double up some bug screen under. So when I travel, I'll just plug it and then ride so water don't come up. And when I need that airflow, I'll just pull it up. And, uh, you know, maybe a six-inch hole. Whatever hole an air conditioner is. Because there's some places I'll probably want to go right in the heart of summer. And I'm going to have to plug in and use a generator to run the AC. There are some places I want to go during the summer. I don't care how hot it is. But I can't be in there. Although, I did insulate the entire thing. Well, I insulated the hell out of it. And, uh, in fact, uh, before I sign off, um, I'm going to do... Uh, I'm gonna I'm going to attach, I did a short video, three minute video that I already posted a while back on the actual build. It's just a slideshow of the, like the time of, you know, each, you know, going through building it. And I'll do it again. I'll put it at the back end of that if you want to watch it. So, uh, yeah, man, like and subscribe, follow me. I'm Matt, the full-time wannabe. I'm trying to get the hell out of here. My goal right now is, uh, well, you can't see me. My goal right now is, um. October 1st and
today it is September 6th. So that's three weeks. So I'm just kind of going through stuff. I'm overthinking it. I see all the videos just like, quit overthinking it. You don't need to bring your whole house with you. I'm trying to get over that stage right now. Because <laughs> I kind of like, man, I got all my tools I want to bring. You know, I got that big tote full of stuff, the backup stuff, you know. It's like, do I really need all this stuff? Do I plan on building a house while traveling? No, I don't. But, I mean, what if somebody needs it? That's what I think. I'm like, you know, what if I'm the only one that was smart enough to bring a DeWalt Sawzall? The only one, right? I'm a hero. But then I got 5,000 things in my truck. I'm driving around like a real zero because I got too much weight on everything. So, let me know what you think. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. I'm Matt. I'm the full-time wannabe.